I already made a speech last night to the ones who were in Atlanta, but I'm going to be very brief this, uh, this evening. Uh, why did we come to Haiti? Anybody? To help. To do what? Help. help. Right. To build houses, right? <laughs> to work? All right. To take photographs during the daytime? No. To wander from one house to another? No. Even to see Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood? No. No way. Not during the work days. So that's one thing I want to remind you of is when we get on the sites every day, we came here to build a hundred houses. Yes, sir. And when any of you come over to where Rose and I will be working with your camera to take a photograph, you're trying to keep two people from working, you and me. So don't come to our house during the daytime for photographs. Let's work and get your houses finished. Rose and I have been to the building site. It's a great place, as you'll see. The Irish beat us to it. The folks from Haven and the volunteers from Ireland, they got about 450 here. And they've already finished 55 houses. They were supposed to finish 50, but they were going so fast they built five extra houses. So they to build 100 houses. Today on the plane, I went back and uh, shook hands with everybody on the plane, which I always do, by the way, to keep Rose from coming up while I'm trying to sleep. But anyway, when I got back to my seat, I told Rose that everybody was smiling, but your smiles are going to be much bigger on the way home. Because the work is over, but also because of what we have done. Mm -hmm. As has just been pointed out, Rose and I have been on a lot of work camps. This is our 28th year in a row. We haven't missed a year yet. Ordinarily, we built one year in the United States and one year overseas. And we've built homes in Hungary, we've built homes in South Africa, we've built homes in the Philippines, we've built homes three times in Mexico, we've built homes in South Korea, we've built homes in a de demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. We built homes in a lot of foreign countries. This country is special to me. We have begun coming down here many, many years ago when Haiti was electing their first freely elected presidents. We've had for three elections in Haiti. And we came down, I did, to prevent an American invasion of Haiti in 1994. Thank you, President. And I was here, Rose, with my wife just a few months before the earthquake struck to try to figure out how to get rid of two terrible diseases, malaria. This is the only place in the Caribbean that still has malaria. Mm -hmm. And lymphatic filariasis, which is elephantiasis. We've learned to love these Haitian people. If you look past history for the last 200 years, I don't think anyone has been persecuted more or suffered more from political oppression, from mandatory slavery of many of their people, and they fought more ferociously and courageously for their own freedom. And they paid dearly for it to the French and to others. So I hope that when you leave here, all of your hearts will be filled with the same love for these people that fills my heart. And as was mentioned last night, I hope all of us will become, you might say, ambassadors among our entire circle of friends and where we have influence to convince the political leaders and the business leaders of America to pay special attention to the opportunities and the needs and desires and dreams of the people of this great country. So I look forward to being with you on the, on the work site. Uh, Tuesday, President Martelly will be here. He's just recently been elected president of Haiti, as you know. He's now chosen his Prime Minister. Rosa and I met with the Minister of Health today. Uh, Wednesday, Rosa and I will go over to Dominican Republic to visit a habitat site and to encourage them to cooperate with Haiti to bring better health to the people attacking these two diseases. And then uh, Friday, if any of you have brought a camera, uh, we'll be visiting every 
home in the work site, my wife and I will, along with Jonathan Rackford and others, and we'll have photographs for every work crew. So wait till Friday, and I hope by the time we get there, your house will be what? Finished, all right. Good luck, I'll see you soon. Thank you, President Carter. There is a time to speak. There is a time to dance. <laughs> to express our gratitude, my staff and myself wanted to bring a lot of band to play for you tonight. But I remember I need you strong for tomorrow. So I'm going to offer you only 45 minutes tonight <laughs> that can energize you and motivate you for your hard work tomorrow. What I'm going to ask my